TV7 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps unveiled a new missile system, which according to IRGC Commander Major General Hussein Salami, is capable of consecutively launching multiple long-range ballistic missiles. Austrian Interior Minister Karl Nehammer confessed to an intelligence failure prior to the terror attack in Vienna, while separately confirming that 14 individuals have been arrested in connection with Islamist terrorism. In light of the repeated Islamist attacks on the European mainland, the United Kingdom, which has a large Muslim community, announced its decision to raise its terrorism threat level to severe, meaning an attack is now seen as highly likely. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps unveiled a new missile system, which according to RGC Commander Major General Hossein Salami, is capable of consecutive launching of multiple long-range ballistic missiles. General Salami introduced a new ballistic missile launcher, which was domestically produced as a blatant signal of defiance to the international community, since the use of ballistic missiles which are capable of carrying a nuclear payload is in direct breach of UN Security Council Resolution 2231. The RGC's top commander was quoted by Iranian regime-controlled media as saying, quote, Our missiles make our enemies shiver and force them into retreat, while further proclaiming that if need be, this formidable program will impose Iran's political will upon them. General Salami also revealed that he ordered the RGC Aerospace Division Chief, Brigadier General Amir Ali Khajizadeh, to constantly keep hands on the trigger. According to a European intelligence official who monitors the Iranian sector of operations, the unveiling of the ballistic missile launcher was deliberately performed in parallel with the U.S. presidential elections. And while Iranian leaders continue to insist that the Islamic Republic does not care who will attain Washington's seat of power, the United States Justice Department released a statement in which it announced that it seized 27 additional domain names used by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps to further a global, covert influence campaign. Per the official statement, all 27 domains were being used in violation of U.S. sanctions, targeting both the government of Iran and the RGC. Four of the domains purported to be genuine news outlets, but were actually controlled by the RGC and targeted audiences in the United States, to covertly influence United States policy and public opinion, while the remainder targeted audiences in other parts of the world. Turning now to Jerusalem, where Israeli Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu has instructed his cabinet ministers to refrain from commenting on the U.S. election as to stay clear from being accused of meddling in the domestic affairs of its most powerful ally. Instead, the Israeli government is making extensive efforts to deal with the intensifying ramifications of the corona crisis. Following a meeting of the so-called corona cabinet, Premier Netanyahu released a filmed statement in which he announced his decision to commence with a gradual reopening of street stores. However, in light of signs of yet another increase in morbidity, the Israeli leader noted that the reality on the ground may force Jerusalem to alter its decision. We have now the Cabinet of the Corona, exactly as we have done in the previous meeting. We will open the shops on the first day of the week. We will allow four shops in every day, not more than that. And we also know that there is a increase in the population. And therefore, if we will see in the end of the week, in the third stage of the third stage, שיש עלייה בתחלואה, אנחנו נצטרך לעצור, ואולי אפילו להדק את ההגבלות. בשלב זה, זו ההחלטה שלנו, פותחים את החנויות, מאפשרים ארבעה לקוחות, ואני מבקש מכולם לכבד את הכללים הללו. An unclear strategy for dealing with a pandemic is evidently exacerbating a sense of frustration among the general Israeli public. Nevertheless, Jerusalem is seemingly making extensive efforts to mitigate the spread of the contagion by all means attainable 
which according to Defense Minister Benny Gantz, the system has become far more efficient. ממערך קטיעת שרשרות ההדבקה שכמעט ולא היה קיים אנחנו יודעים לתחקר כ-4,000 אנשים ביום ולהכניס כ-40,000 לבידוד יש לנו טכנולוגיה, רשת, טפסים, טפס, טפסים מקוונים ויכולת להתמקד באזורים קונקרטיים The top Israeli defense official whose ministry has been utilized to deal with the enduring crisis further noted his intention to demand a widening of government-enforced closures on areas that have been struggling with the corona contagion spread. I am trying to ask and to increase the security to all the areas that are required. So we can work in a single way on the other side and to open more and more in the areas that can be used on the other side. Also those that are required to be in a single way Minister Gantz also seized the opportunity to voice his solidarity with Austria. First, I would like to say that the attack of the attack in Austria can be used to the attack of the attack in Europe and in other places and remind us of the need for the attack in the attack, the need for the attack in the attack. ולבנו היום עם אזרחי אוסטריה ועם חברי הקהילה היהודית בווינה ובכלל עם העולם שצריך להתמודד בצידה של המגפה גם עם פעילות הטרור. Meanwhile in Vienna, Austrian Interior Minister Karl Nehammer confirmed that following the murderous attack earlier this week, 14 individuals have been arrested in connection with Islamist terrorism. Es gab zahlreiche Hausdurchsuchungen und 14 Personen wurden festgenommen. Ich kann Ihnen jetzt auch mehr Details zu den Festgenommenen bekannt geben. Sie sind zwischen 18 und 28 Jahre alt, haben alle Migrationshintergrund und sind teilweise auch nicht österreichische Staatsbürger. Es werden Ermittlungen geführt aufgrund des Verdachts der Beteiligung an einer terroristischen Vereinigung. Minister Nehammer went on to confess to the fact that Austria's intelligence agency failed in its conduct when it agreed to release the abhorrent terrorist from jail early after the Islamist assailant managed to con the de-radicalization program, which aims to convince Islamist individuals to abandon their violent ways. But before the terror attack began, after the current wisdom, offensichtlich auch einige schiefgegangen. Nach 43 Stunden, 43 Stunden nach dem Anschlag stellt sich in einer Kurzanalyse folgendes Bild dar. Der Täter konnte das Deradikalisierungsprogramm perfekt täuschen. Die Menschen, die dort nach bestem Wissen und Gewissen handeln, Der Täter, obwohl er sich dem IS anschließen wollte und klar war, dass er bereit war, in einen fremden Krieg zu ziehen, wurde vorzeitig aus der Haft entlassen. The Austrian Interior Minister also revealed that prior to the attack, Slovakia provided Austria with information about the Islamist assailant, yet failed to act. Darüber hinaus Wissen Sie, dass in den letzten Stunden Informationen sichtbar geworden sind, die zeigen, dass der slowakische Geheimdienst den Verfassungsschutz, das BVD, schon einige Zeit vor dem Terroranschlag über den Terrorattentäter informiert hat? Informationen, dass er vermeintlich Munition sich besorgen wollte. In den weiteren Schritten ist hier offensichtlich in der Kommunikation etwas schiefgegangen. Aus diesem Grund werde ich dem Nationalen Sicherheitsrat heute vorschlagen, eine unabhängige Untersuchungskommission einzusetzen, 
In light of the repeated Islamist attacks on the European mainland, the United Kingdom, which has a large Muslim community of its own, announced its decision to raise its terrorism threat level to severe, meaning an attack is now seen as highly likely. British Secretary of State for the Home Department, Briti Patel, announced the decision following the attack in Vienna. She insisted, however, that the Joint Terrorism Analysis Center, which is accountable to the domestic intelligence agency MI5, made its decision as a precautionary measure rather than basing it on concrete intelligence. Well, first of all, JTAC is an independent body and they have made the judgment in light of recent events as we've seen in France and also in Austria um, that this alert should go up. In terms of countering activity, of course, we work with our, our outstanding intelligence and um, police forces across the country and our intelligence agencies to put the protect and preventative measures in place and that will continue. And of course now the public will see more visible policing across the country um, and that is right in light of the threat going up. But as I've said, the public should not be alarmed. This is a precautionary measure. Thank you for watching us. As part of TV7 Israel's prayer initiative, I would like to encourage you today to join myself and the team here in Jerusalem to lift up both the United States and Europe in prayer for the people's salvation, peace and protection, in addition to our ongoing prayers of course for the peace of Jerusalem and the salvation of Israel, as well as for all those who are impacted by the corona contagion and the numerous ramifications thereof. I'm Jonathan Hassan wishing you an Erev Tov and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.